For simultaneous equations, the elimination method is really only one we employ when we're working with two linear equations. Um, from then on, we really use some form of substitution to deal with simultaneous equations. So it's really, it's kind of um, an archaic method uh, that is really set up to be used when your linear equations look like this, when they are in pairs like this. So it is worthwhile knowing um, but in the grand scheme of things, if you were ever faced with two uh, equations, being it a line or a curve, it's unlikely that you would ever use this. It's more, much more likely that you would then use uh, the substitution method. So I'll show you how uh, this really works. Um, should have met this earlier on, but, uh, but maybe uh, you're a bit rusty at it. So. What we do is we set up the two equations and we're going to label them, numbers 1 and 2. And for this first one, what I can see is that I've got a plus y and a minus y. So if I add the two equations together, then it will eliminate the y's for me. So I'm going to go with 1 plus 2, equation 1 plus equation 2. We have 3x plus 4x, it makes 7x. Y plus minus y will cancel, okay, so I'm eliminating the y's, and 5 plus 3 is 8. So divide both sides by 7, and so x is 8 sevenths. We now need to find the value of y. So if I substitute into one of the two equations, I'm going to substitute into number 1. So sub into 1. It's always a good, pra good practice to tell the examiner exactly what you're doing at each step. So I've got three lots of 8 sevenths plus y equals 5. So three lots of 8 sevenths, 8, 16, 24, so 24 sevenths plus y. And we're going to change that into sevenths as well, so 35 sevenths. So subtract the 24 sevenths from both sides and that will leave me with 11 sevenths. So x equals 8 sevenths and y equals 11 sevenths. So what that's telling me is that these two lines will be intersecting at 8 sevenths, 11 sevenths. OK? And that's uh, the first one. So let's try uh, number 2. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So I'd be looking at these two equations and thinking, well, if I do one equation subtract and then subtract the other, it will eliminate the y's for me. So if I do equation 2 and take away equation 1, I have 4x take away 3x, which is just x. Uh, the y's cancel each other out. And I've got 9 take away 6, so that's 3. So x must be 3. Then I can substitute that into one of the two equations. I'll substitute into number 1. So I've got three lots of x, so 3, 3 is a 9, plus y equals 6. Then subtract the 9 from both sides, so y is equal to minus 3. So these two lines intersect at the coordinates 3 minus 3. Okay, And that's number 2. You might be thinking, uh, why is Jack not then substituting these numbers into the second equation to check? Um, you can. That's perfectly fine. Um, I think it's probably because I'm just trusting my results. Um, if they are wrong, um, then you know that's, that is my fault, really. But it is good practice to substitute the numbers in to the uh, second equation and make sure that they work. But it, it does end up being a step uh, that we often forget to do. Okay, So let's go with uh, equation, uh, the pair of equations number 3. We've now got 3x plus 2y equals 6 and 4x plus y equals 9. So at this point I can choose to eliminate the x's or y's because there's no necessarily easier way of doing it. 
I mean, I'd be looking at equation 2 and multiplying it by 2 so that I can get 2y on top and bottom. That seems like the easiest thing to work with. So if I maintain, oh, sorry, maintain equation 1, and then I multiply equation 2 by 2, So I'm going to get 4x times 2, so 8x, 2y, and 18. And I'm going to call that equation 3. So now I can subtract one equation from the other to eliminate the two y's. So equation 3, take away equation 1. 8x take away 3x is 5x. 2y take away 2y cancels out. 18 take away 6 is 12. So divide both sides by 5, and I get 12 fifths. So now I want to substitute into one of the two equations. Um, I could substitute into number 1, but that's, um, well, that's probably the easiest of the two. Now I look at them. Okay, so sub into equation 1. So sub into 1. So we've got three lots of x, so three lots of the 12 fifths plus 2y is equal to 6. So 3 twelfths are 36, so 36 fifths plus 2y. And 6 can be written as 30 over 5. So then I can subtract the 36 fifths from both sides. So 2y is equal to minus 6 fifths. And then divide both sides by 2. So y is equal to minus uh, 3 fifths. So that means that these two lines intersect at 12 fifths and minus 3 fifths. OK? So that's number 3. OK, so finally, number 4, equation 1 and equation 2. I've been eliminating the y's uh, for the for the first three, so let's eliminate the x's this time, I think. Change it up a bit. So, in order to eliminate the x's, um, I need to make sure I've got the same amount of x's in equation one and the same amount of equation, uh, x's in equation two. So, if I multiply equation one by four and equation two by three, I'll end up with 12x in both. So, equation one times by four, we're going to get 12x plus 8y is equal to 24. Let's call that equation 3. And equation 2 multiplied by 3. So 12x uh, minus 15y is equal to uh, 36. So I'm multiplying by 3, I right, 27. I looked at that 4 and thought 4, 9 is 36. Let's call that equation number 4. OK, so at this point, um, really your choice about whether you do 3 take away 4 or 4 take away 3. Um, I'd probably go with 3 take away 4 so that I maintain a positive x on the left-hand side. Uh, the positive y, rather. The 12x's will cancel. 8y take away minus 15y will be 23y. And 24 take away 27 is minus 3. So y is minus 3 over 23. So then I need to substitute that into one of the two equations uh, to find x. It makes sense to substitute it into one of your two original equations rather than 3 or 4, mainly because uh, the numbers are easier to work with. So I'd substitute it into number 1. So sub into 1. So we've got 3x uh, plus 2y, so plus 2 lots of 3 of, or minus 3 over 23 is equal to 6. So 3x take away 6 over 23 is equal to, well, 6 lots of 23 is 138. So, um, 138 over 23. I should be checking that on the calculator. Just do a quick check of that. 23 over 23. 
23 times 6, 138. Okay, so then I can add the 6 over 23 to both sides. So I'm going to get 144 over 23. And then I can divide both sides by 3. Let's see if that does anything to it. Uh, 5, 9 should do. Divide by 3, 48 over 23. Okay, so these two lines will intersect at 48 over 23 the x-coordinate, and minus 3 over 23, the y-coordinate. Okay? And that's the elimination method. Um, four examples of it. It's not difficult. It's a very similar process each time, and you've probably had it drilled into you. But in the grand scheme of things, when working with simultaneous equations, more often than not, we will be utilising the substitution method, or some variant of it. And we'll go through some examples of that in the following videos.